doctors on the military post couldn't tell me exactly what it was. So uh, I was being treated for pneumonia. Then eventually I moved here to uh, Houston. And that's when uh, I met Dr. Vardis and she, she diagnosed it as enlarged heart. Stephen Jones, wonderful man, um, developed cardiomyopathy, a weakness of the heart. And cardiomyopathies can occur because of coronary artery disease, blockage of the vessels that feed the heart, can happen from viral illness that, that can attack the heart, and many other metabolic derangements can cause um, problems with the heart, uh, the pumping of the heart. What he had was a problem with the muscle, and we were able to change that by sending him to Texas Heart Institute at the appropriate time in order to get a device that could help the pumping mechanism of the heart. Last year, I had a heart pump put in, and um, I've been living off of that right now for the, for the last year and a half. Uh, left ventricular assist device and they come in different types um, as we've talked about with um, several doctors at Texas Heart Institute including Dr. Frazier and Dr. Delgado that we've shown on the show before but here's a real live patient that we had from our practice you know that was able to benefit from that technology. I thank Annie Vargas a lot she's uh, been truthful she's been up front she let me know even though she told me some things that I didn't want to hear, but you know, and, and by her acting aggressively on this, it has saved me. Um, and I, I, I would say I devote a lot to her. Well, it used to be a bridge to transplant, you know, the, that it was only a small amount of time that they had to wait, but now they can use that as their heart. Basically, I mean, for, for a long time uh, and it's just uh, because they've gotten smaller and better and safer.